Okay, so look where I'm at right now. Three o'clock this morning, I was having a lot of pain, drinking some water. I tried many things and it did not work, even sleeping positions, and I checked my blood pressure there. It was so high. So I'm at the triage. Um, so they're gonna be checking my contractions in a bit and doing the exam, but David's not in here because they won't let him due to policies, which is stupid. But I'll keep you guys updated and yeah. I'm hoping that everything's okay. So yeah. That's what's going on right now. Having a little bit of pains right now, so we'll see what happens. I don't know. So they hooked me up on the baby monitor. Um, now we're just tracking the baby. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. But my blood, sh my blood pressure went down. It was uh, 137 over 97 or something like that. I don't know somewhere around there so it's going down but David still can't come in yet <coughs> so I'm still waiting on him to come in they're just monitoring me right now and yeah um, I was facetiming David and he said there was like an emergency in the lobby screaming right now so yeah not looking good or whoever so yeah I'll talk to you guys in a bit hey guys so I wanted to get you an update obviously I am home I am not at the hospital yeah I know thunder so what happens um, at the hospital was, or let me start from the beginning of the reason why I went to the hospital. I didn't want to explain much when I was up in the room because there was nurses and stuff like that. So I wanted to explain um, later on. So what happened was I woke up like around three o'clock this morning and I was having like very sharp pains in my left belly on my side and it wouldn't go away. I tried sleeping positions, I tried rolling over like different sides, I tried walking around, going downstairs to get some water, I checked on Hayden, I went to the bathroom and all of that did not work. So I was so I went back to bed and Hogan, please stop. I went back to bed and it still wasn't going away. So then around five o'clock in the morning, I checked my blood pressure. It was like 149 over like a hundred and something, I forgot. But, and then in 15 minutes, I checked it again and it was even higher. So, um, so then I woke up David and I said, hey, you know, I'm in, in a lot of pain and my blood pressure is really high. And he's like, yep, we're going to go to the hospital. We're going to call the OB to see what they say. And when we called the OB, that doctor said to just come on in since it hasn't gone down. So that's where we went is to the hospital. And, um... And let's just say when we went there, like the nurse, the charge nurse, like didn't even know what she was talking about. Majority of the time, we did not like her at all. Um, I have like bad vibes from her. And like when I was in the lobby, I was like swaying back and forth, like standing up. And she's like, it looks like you're in pain. like having contractions because you're swaying back and forth. I'm like, yeah, because I'm in pain. Like, 
I, when I'm in pain, I do not like to sit down. I like to just sway back and forth or walk because that's how I cope with my pain. And I just can't believe she literally made that comment. Um, and then like for registration and stuff, it's like I've been to that hospital like several times and I was even born at the hospital. So it's like they have all of my, all of my records in there in the system. But I had to explain everything. It was, it was so annoying. And they had to write everything on paper. It's like everything is in the system. Like why are you writing everything on paper? It like literally didn't make any sense. And um, so we got back there. Well, I got back there and of course, David couldn't come back because apparently according to their new policies, it's because of COVID. And the second, the second thing is sex trafficking. I'm like, really? Seriously? Like, that's just kind of bizarre to me. So we were kind of frustrated about that. So I just literally FaceTimed David and I literally told him that I don't want them to do any exams on me unless he was in the room. So finally, when they were doing the shift change, um, a new nurse came in and thank God she was amazing because the night nurse wasn't like very rude and I just had very bad vibes. So the new nurse came in with the shift change and she was amazing. We were joking around, laughing, and even David had good vibes from her too. So she was amazing. Um, she took my blood, even though she did the IV, just in case if I had need to get fluids. Um, they checked my urine. Um, and then they just monitored the heartbeat and the contractions and then that's basically it. Um, I had no contractions whatsoever. I mean, I had like little, little ones, but nothing to be concerned. And then all they were doing is checking my blood pressure and, and it wasn't going down. It was just staying the same. So that's why they checked my blood work to see if I had preeclampsia or hypertension or something going on. But everything came back to normal. So um, they discharged me and gave me medication for it. So we are in the car right now. Um, we are gonna go pick up uh, David's mom. But right now we're at a mattress store because we're getting a new mattress for the guest bedroom that we already cleared out. So that's gonna be good. We got all the kids in the car. They already had their dinner. So they're all good to go. <coughs> so um, the reason why we're picking up uh, David's mom, you're gonna say hi. hi. <laughs> We're going to be picking up David's mom is because we got bad news. When we were waiting to get our car from the valet from the hospital, uh, the daycare called me and stating that one child at their daycare um, tested positive for COVID. Huh? Well, I'll charge it in a minute. Tested positive for COVID. Oh, is that dad? Okay. <coughs> tested positive for COVID. And so, which was Holden's room, I think. I'm not sure. Um, but she, the director said that all three of them cannot go all week. And they can return on Monday. So, I cannot afford to take off work this week again. So, we asked her, we asked her if she could watch the kids all week and stay at our house. And so, she was willing to do that for me so that I continue working and get more money and more hours and all that stuff. So that is the reason why we're driving all the way an hour and a half to go get her. So that's what we're doing. Um, what else happened today? Oh, see, before anything was happening with uh, me going into the hospital and the daycare and all that stuff, um, our Labor Day plans was to go to my mom's house and go swimming and Melanie came last night to sleep over so she can go swimming with us at my mom's and that got flushed down the drain because I had to go to the hospital. I felt so bad for her, you know, because she came and I know she watched the kids for us and I really appreciate that, Melanie. If you you are watching this, um, like it kind of sucked that we didn't get to go swimming and enjoy yourselves but things happen that are not in our control so so 
so yeah I'm not sure if Weston is sleeping he must be sleeping I don't know but so that's the rundown of our day today uh, once we got home we were very very tired we took like a couple hour nap while Melanie watched the kids some more for us before she left so it's just been exhausting and a miserable day for us but yeah so I hope you guys enjoy this video um, don't forget to like and subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you like it and check out all my social medias um, <laughs> Instagram and TikTok which is Alicia R. White and we'll see you guys in the next video bye guys